Yeah, 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 we're back in the building, MC, a.k.a. Microphone Criminal, and we're in here with who? John Doe, you know what yeah I'm saying? Man. A T-A-C, G-O-T-M-E, you already know. I mean, all the initials, you want to break down some of them initials for the folks? All right, T-A-C is for uh, the highest clout, you know what I mean? Above it all, above all the nonsense, G-O-T-M-E is get out the matrix, you know what I mean? Mm. Get out the matrix entertainment. Sound yeah. like that got a deep mean. That that's something that have a deep meaning yeah, with it. Man, it's in the name. You feel you know me? I mean, definitely. So, um, John Doe, I, I gotta ask you right off the bat, with a name like John Doe. Yeah. I mean, that's is that common out there? You know. So, what made it's, you actually run uh, with that? It's very common. Um, initially, my my uh, stage name was uh, Jay Ellis. Uh huh. And uh, I had changed it because I heard on the radio like it was an artist already with the same name. Uh. So like And uh, at the time I had dropped a mixtape My first mixtape And only did like Nine downloads And nobody really like Was looking for it You feel mm-hmm. me So I felt like Nobody really like Knew who I was Right So like I just went straight to John Doe you know John what I mean? Doe Like nobody know me And it's gonna be ironic When they do You feel me Okay So you gonna st- you, you think you can stick it out Yeah I'm planning on changing it uh, Okay I'm about to drop a mixtape Illidale in June Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about uh, making that transition to that uh, alias, right, Liddell. That's what's up, man. And how long have you been doing your thing? I've um, only been rapping for three years. Yeah? Yeah, just three years, man. Like, so what made I'm, you first pick up the pen then so recently? Um, I mean, it was just something, like, I was just messing around with up school. Uh-huh. Me and the homies, like, I don't know, out of the blue, like, I, I'm like a real music head, so I listen to all types of music. And, uh... Was real. I was going real hard with the music when I was up school. I was going to uh, Pittsburgh University, uh-huh. and uh, by the time I just started picking up the pen, like I got the urge to write. So you always been a fan of the music, yeah. But one day you just decided to go ahead and, and right. And I was feeling like how the music was gone. I'm like, yo, right. this is some BS. You know what I mean, nobody really taking this serious. I'm like, I can do a better job than these dudes. You know what I mean, <laughs> like way I'm better. Free. So I just dedicated myself to it. You know what I mean. All right, no doubt, man. So, when you first started, did you like start start off getting in the studio, or uh, was you I, just writing? I was writing the beats, uh-huh. and uh, I like I had a lot of college homies, uh-huh. so I used to bring them in the room, like, "Yo, check this out," like on a personal tip, mm-hmm. and uh, I just wanted to know that what they uh, felt about it, right? So I was getting. What was good that re- feedback? I was at first it was like kind of like shady, uh-huh. but eventually I started getting good responses, like people telling me keep going. Cause they heard that potential right so i mean that's that's what i was doing when i was up there did you ever like when you first started off did you ever like uh lose your motivation like maybe it wasn't that like good enough and you might be like dag i ain't nah that was uh actually what motivated me was mm-hmm. people doubting me you yeah I mean? that okay. motivated me even more so i'm like i gotta get better All right, no i mean doubt. to get that respect feel me no, I definitely relate to that. I, I got a similar story to that, too. So now, you know, you've been doing it for three years. What, just let the people know real quick as we ease them in, what's a couple of the things you've done in that three years? Um, Perform, like, damn near everywhere in the city, except uh-huh. for, like, the TLA. Right. I got uh, the Jollies on June 1st, too. That's going to be a new venue. Jollies Live. Um, so you doing, doing major shows, shows crazy. I've been out uh, L.A. doing shows, like, hitting up open mics. Um. What about the mixtape game? Maryland, I, I'm on my f- that he got to think fifth about it. Mixtape, you you know he been working. It's f- <laughs> my my fifth mixtape, I believe. I'm on my fifth one. All right, I so mean, you been pushing them things out. Yeah, uh, just recently, all eyes on me. I had dropped not too long ago. Um, I actually had hard copies for that. Yeah, you know I mean, okay. Everything else is like you gotta get it online. One of my tapes got like lost. Uh-huh. You know what I mean, like whoever downloaded it at the time when I dropped it got it, so it's gonna be like a collector's item. So you got the whole oh, snap. Yeah, like if you got it, you got yeah. it. If you don't, you don't. Cause I'm not putting that back out. You know what I mean? So you got the John Doe, all eyes on me. So that's that's a whole lot of names yeah. right there. So what made you feel confident with going with the all eyes on me title? Uh, actually, it was just like a build up to the, mm-hmm. my recent project I'm about to drop with Liddell. I wanted to get everybody attention. Okay. That was just like an attention grabber, so I threw that out there All just right. to build up the buzz for my next tape I'm about to drop with Liddell. All right, that's what's up. Do you got any uh, original beats on there? Uh, all original. When oh, I okay. first started, I was doing original beats. 
You know what I mean? Oh, why? Right out the gate. Right out the gate. I ain't want to do nobody else beats. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Uh, them beats was just for like lyrical exercise. I hear that. So you you you're not on any industry beats. Uh, I mean, I or got a couple not- out there. You can go on YouTube and check them out. But I uh-huh. just threw them out there. It was just something I was just working on, just to, you know I, I mean, get you. my lyrical ability up. All right, that's what's up, man. Yeah, people need to get more into the uh, original music. Yeah. Do you do beats or you got producers that you're working with? Yeah, uh, Boone Billions. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, that's the homie. That's right, one of my outs. personal producers. You know what I mean, Booney, shout out to you. Um, he from Southwest. Uh, I got a producer out of Phoenix. His name is Decoy the Kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, the life, uh My man JT. My man JT. He out of Ohio. All right, that's he uh, produced this track called Who Annoying. Uh, so got you, a couple people. You I got networking. People. You definitely networking yeah, all over I though. I come across. You know what I mean? All right. Got and what about producers. um collabos and stuff like that? You uh, working with anybody? I did collabos with um you know Del P. That's Say the that. Homie. Del P. From West Philly. Del P. Yeah, him. Um, Dr. Joker, Nev yeah, Martin, man. Fatal the Cannon out of Maryland, Cloudy. Uh, my homie Siberry, part of TAC. Okay. Uh, Alatha, she's a singer. It's, it's very. And you got some features on this uh, All Eyes on Me that just came out? Yeah. yeah. All right, and that's some of the names. Yeah. Um, a few people, but it's, it's like a little tight circle. I don't really work with too many people, you know what I mean? Okay. When you say you don't work with too many people, you talking about like as far as um just doing a song or you mean like. Yeah, uh, like other artists. Like if we're going to do a track, it got to happen genuinely. I don't right, like I fortunate. That. Like, you no, know no, I feel that. And uh, just recently, I was uh, was thinking about like, it's like start charging. You know what I mean? Because it's like <laughs> I've been doing so many free verses, uh-huh. and I'm like, I know my worth. Like, you know I mean, I gotta get this money somewhere. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Gotta pay for a service just like everything else. Okay. Yo, it's funny that you bring that up because I was just having a conversation uh, with another artist recently yeah. about that. So. um what is your what would you say the criteria on an artist charging on what an artist should have before it, they could start charging depending on your bus right yeah depending that's, on your that's bus. what i was saying so like me i wasn't gonna like try like yeah give me like two racks like right. give, me, give me three <laughs> racks you feel me no i just like thinking like something small like you know that piff i mean to go up on there i mean on okay. the uh, front page that for them to sponsor is fifty dollars Right. So you paying that, or you know, people you might pay like fifty dollars for like a, a eighth or something like that, like whatever the case may be. I don't True. think that's really a lot to start off for a verse. You feel me? I got you. Now what? So you definitely by saying that though, you definitely mean that by putting it's that buzz, verse on buzz, there, like it's going, it's going, it's or, going to pop like automatically. Okay. It's going to be a good verse. Like you know. If I'm gonna do a verse for you, it's gonna be good. Like all, right, that's all my up. features is good. I'm I'm, adver- I'm adver- advertising for you, so yeah. you know we putting it out I'm just there. Right people now. know, like yeah, you know what I mean. Letting them know. Check my features. I already know John Doe. No doubt. And make sure y'all call up two six seven five three five three nine three zero. You know what I mean. You Holla wanna talk to John Doe for sure. Yeah. I mean, so when did that all eyes on me come out again? Uh. Damn man, I don't remember the date, man. I mean, but like, how long? It was like a couple months. Yeah, like about four months ago. Okay. Four or five months. And ago. And you just prepping them for this next one. And when does that come out? Um, uh, June thirtieth. All right, cool. So that's uh the next month. Yep. About one month away. So is it, is it done? And you just waiting to it's, put it it's out? It's done. We just uh getting the the mixes right. You know okay. What I, mean? I just got the cover out recently. We are trying to work out like how we gonna promote it. Okay. You know what I mean, how many how many bangers on there? I, I'm not like. The type of guy to oversaturate a mixtape, you know what I mean? Like right. twenty tracks, you know. Normally mm-hmm. people do that. Uh, I'm only doing twelve. Okay. Like the last one I believe is like eleven, so I'm doing twelve this time mm-hmm. around. It seemed like that's starting to become the new norm anyway. Yeah. I don't even know if I can call it new norm because yeah. you know that's what people do. Yeah. By eleven to twelve, yeah. you know, get get you in there, right, and whatnot. So, um, uh, currently, what's your label situation? Are you independent? Yeah, we, we independent. Uh, TAC, that's the label. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I also, my management is uh, Get Out The Matrix Entertainment. We also try and build an entertainment also. So we like, like me, I'm that bridge. Like, I'm bridging that gap. Like, you know, okay. bringing us together. You feel me? That sounds like a huge merger right there. Yeah, yeah. That's we got something. a lot of people. You know what I mean, we just getting all the pieces that we need so we can move forward. And okay. next thing is just the budget. You know what I mean? All right, no doubt. And you say you already got some videos up, like any official videos or just the ones? Yeah, I got official videos up. Um, mm-hmm. My video out, Trill, 
Mm-hmm. It's out. That's my uh, brand new one off the table, Adele. Okay. Let me check that out. And let people know where they can check it out at on YouTube. Uh, just go to our website, tacevereything.com. Okay. Go on my uh, Twitter, at John Doe of TAC, J O N D O E of TAC. And uh, get out the matrix.com. All right, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. So, which uh, track you want to start them off with today? We got a Dat, Short Days, Soul Music, and Trill. We're going to start them with that All Eyes on Me. You're going to play a Dat for them. All right, no doubt. Well, here we go, people. This is John Doe with a Dat. And we're back. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, yeah. Call up 267-535-3930. Holla at us. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you got the exclusive chopped and screwed version right there. You can't hear that nowhere else. You ain't going to hear that nowhere else. If you heard it, that's probably the only time you might hear that. Yeah, and I you mean, mean, that's exclusive, exclusive. Where you going that piff, um, all eyes on me to hear the real time version, hear the rest of my music, you already know. That piff, John Doe, all eyes on me. No doubt. And put the Twitter out there one more time for the folks. At John Doe of TAC, J O N D O E of TAC. Get with me. My man. So you said you done did shows out of town. Yeah, uh, yeah. I did um, Club Live uh-huh. out in uh, Maryland. Um, New York, I did a couple shows out there. I did Webster Hall. That was a big show. No doubt. And um, what's the reception or what's the feeling when you go out of town and do a show? I mean, I, th- I like to think that you got your Philly crowd right. and then you got. <laughs> <laughs> your out of town crowd right it was uh you know crazy I mean? <laughs> it's, it's it's weird because you know like you knew right you know i mean to a lot of people for mm-hmm. the most part like um i went down maryland it's before i went out to la right and uh, i had a show down there and it was funny because like the uh the bodyguard he uh-huh. knew my music and it was so random oh yeah yeah he like yeah you john doe right and i'm like i'm like yeah he like yeah i heard your music before I'm like, word, that's what it is. <laughs> so it made me comfortable. Yeah, I right. mean, you hear things like that. But for the most part, when you go out of town, you got to, like, bring it. Because, like, you got to earn them new fans. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's just different vibes out there. I mean, but, it, yeah, I can imagine that does feel good, though, when you go out of town. and You and you get music. more love. Yeah. You get more love than when you here. Because it's, it's a way harder crowd here. It's probably that- the toughest crowd. That's why I was saying you got your, you got your Philly crowd and then yeah. you got your out of town crowd. The out of town crowd, they give you energy. Like you give them energy, they give you energy back because they here, they there for a show. You know, no you're no. in the city and it's like it's almost like illegal to show love here. <laughs> I'm trying to me? tell you, you um, do you ever get nervous before you go on stage? Yeah, the closer it, like it get to me, like going up there, the nervous I get. But once I get the mic and I, I speak into the mic, mm. all that go away. I don't even think about it no more. That's what's up. That's yeah. What's up. So, uh, have you have you ventured off into any other genres uh, other than rap, uh, like n- how a lot of other artists are doing these days? Nah, man, let's, let's keep it. Uh, it's hip hop, rap. All right. Let's keep it that way. You know so, know? what happened one day when you get in the lab and you do your verse, and then next thing you know, he done put the auto tune <laughs> and the and the, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, the auto tune thing. It's 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 hot for some people. Uh-huh. I don't think it's for everybody. Right. Yeah, I mean, when you when everybody doing it, that's when it's like it started to get corny. You feel I hear me? That. Like when T Pain was doing it, it was good. But after that, everybody else started using it as oversaturated. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Some people can. Yeah. I feel like uh, like I'm not anti auto tune. Yeah, know? me neither. I mean, I never really personally used it, but I, I looked at it. I was thinking about this the other day. It's like you know, us as uh, musicians. Yeah. It's just like. When a kid gets a new, or when a new toy comes out, you know, all the kids, you know, want to play with that toy. So, right. what it come down to is, is, are people wrong for that? Like, you know what I mean? So, say when T-Pain brought the auto-tune back out and, uh-huh. and had it popping, was it wrong for people to want to jump on that and try it out? Or should they have just known what, what didn't sound right and what did? But nowadays, man, like how music is going, it's just like copy-paste anyway. Right. That's how the game is, and like True they that. wrong for that. Like you're not original. <laughs> you feel me? You're not original for doing that. But what if so they just it, wanted to hear how that sound would sound with right. on them? Right. I mean, to a certain extent, it's it's like I don't know. It's almost like a a, a double standard when it comes to auto tune. Uh-huh. You know I mean, it's like it's cool, but it's not cool. You feel me? It just all depends on who's doing it, and if the song hot, then you know I, I mean, it's that. a go. 
So would you ever try it? Nah, most nah. likely not. I did it one time when I first started rapping. Uh-huh. It was because it you funny. wanted to try it out, yeah, right? That's yeah. what I'm saying. That was just for me. Like I mean, I I, didn't, I wouldn't put that out there. Uh-huh. You feel me? I got you. Yeah, I wouldn't put that out there because that wasn't me. All right. Now, how often are you in the lab? Man, I'm in there like every day. Yeah, almost every day I'm in there. And you writing every day? Writing every day, just constantly like just recording records and just trying to stack them, and then you know you. Do that oh yeah, pick them uh, up. You know what I mean, I got you. So you might you might record X amount of tracks, yeah, and then just pick out your nice little yeah, eleven, what twelve. I use, you know what mm-hmm. I mean, then shoot a nice video for them. Right, right. Okay, that's what's up. And what's that show you said you got coming up again? Throw I'm that at, out there. I'm at Jolly's Live on the first. You know what I mean, six to ten. I'm open to act most. So like you know I'm saying, y'all need to be there early at six o'clock, six to ten. Jolly's Live. No doubt. What's some of your goals that you want to achieve let's just say this year like this what, year? You, what you want to do this year and then we'll go a little farther out i want to be one of the hottest artists in the city i want to get that recognition i want to get that respect so okay that's what i want this year and i know i'm gonna get it i mean and ultimately where you see yourself like you know what's one Down of your long-term line? goals yeah man i see me touring uh-huh. the world uh no doubt making a lot of money i mean supporting my family and friends that's what's up man do you and, and you gonna put? Do you plan on putting yourself in a position where you will put other artists on? Yeah, or? yeah. Um, first I gotta put my my team on because uh, mm-hmm. and like we all like uh, independent artists. Right, like we like solo artists. We not like no type of group, but we're in like one like label situation. I mean, independent label situation. Which Y'all got each other back, right? So mm-hmm. ain't no telling who gonna pop first. I feel that. Yeah, I mean, so I'm putting them on first, and then we start working on that once everything is situated. That's what's up. It's all about showing love. Yeah, man, because there's a lot of talent in the city. Definitely. So we're going to go ahead, hit y'all with the next joint. This is Soul Music. Yeah. You know what I mean, bring us in. Soul Music featuring Alatha. You know what I mean? Produced by. Damn, who produced that beat? I don't know who produced it, but <laughs> who, Alatha. Who, who have it after the song goes? John Doe, Soul Music. Next level show, we in the building. We back with John Doe. Like we never left. Y'all ain't see that. <laughs> 267-535-3930. Call up. Let's talk to John Doe and MC Mike Criminal. You know what I mean? I know they I know everybody, you know, after all little cookouts enjoying y'all Memorial's Day. But you know, put that on pause for a minute. Holla at us at the next level show. Yep. I mean so what they were just listening to? That was that soul music featuring me and Alatha. Yeah, you know I mean, I actually got the beat off of, uh, a beat tape. So, okay. Yeah, that was one of uh, the beats my uh, manager gave me, and you know, the track just came out crazy. Okay. Now, what's uh, what would you say the overall content of your music is? Um, complex simplicity. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, you must have had that ready. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, explain <laughs> yeah. that. Uh, complex and plus, it's like majority like of the because I'm like real into lyrics, mm-hmm. and uh, at times the most simplest lyrics can like hit the hardest. You feel me? But at the same time, a lot of my my lyrics had double meanings, or maybe triple meanings, maybe quadruple meanings, uh. depending on how you take it. It's so many different ways it's you can take it. It's multifaceted. Right. But it's simple at times, but it's also complex. You know what I mean? For the most like part. That. So, it's complex simplicity. You know what I mean? I dig that. Is that going to be the, the title of the album? Nah, nah, <laughs> man. I, I, got, I got a name for that, but they're going to have to wait on that one. All right, cool. So, you're going to hit them with the tapes for now until we get that, until we get those things off the, yep. off the ground? Yep. Got to do the mixtapes, man, and get that buzz up. So, all right. For sure. Who you listening to in the um, music world right now, um, other than yourself? Right now, uh, sh- listen to uh, Chance the Rapper. Okay. I, I believe he- You just uh, put me D with somebody. Yeah, I believe he out of Chicago. He, he pretty cool. Um, J. Cole, Kendrick, Meek at times, but a lot of like Hove, like Nas. Okay. A lot of that. I mean, uh, Ab Soul. There's a lot of people, man. Uh, no doubt. Sam Cook. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you check out the uh, new issue of the Double XL 
Freshman. Uh, freshman edition. Not or really. Do you, you don't keep up with that? Not really. Not this year. All right. Like last time I seen was uh I think when Meek was on there. All right. Yeah, yeah. it was like Future and all them. That's the last one. I, uh, after well, yeah. after you seen Future, you say you know what I ain't looking at this no more. No, <laughs> Future actually he a high artist. I just think like I like him on hooks better than I like his like actual like verses. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you might be on the joint next year. So what's up? Well, rap. I mean, I mean you hopefully and, you and um, see they might have two Philly. I should be. I yeah. should be. I hear that. That's another short term goal, people. Double XL, you know what I mean? I mean. And uh I'm trying to explain to people it's important that to set goals. Yeah. You know, a lot of people just live by the seat of the pants, right. you know. Right. It's music, man. You gotta take it like there at a time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Cause it's so hard. It's like so many people doing what you do. You gotta like try to separate yourself from others. So it's definitely hard trying to but trying am- to be known. But amazingly, you find a lot of people actually doing the same thing as everybody else. Exactly, exactly. You, know I mean? you think it? Do you do you feel that it's more so people look at it like, all right, well, that's that's popping right now, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. For sure, that's what people do. For the most part, like we like eighty percent in the game. That's what they do. People mm-hmm. that's out here that's rapping, they just doing it like, and they just taking other people's sounds and like flows and. Just, just relentlessly Yeah and then, then it got near to be whack So it's just like <laughs> They just disrespecting the game man period Stop doing that Yeah yo cut that out man Be yourself 267-535-3930 is the number to call up We're about to hit y'all with another joint And this also has the video popping off Yeah, right crazy. on YouTube You know what I mean Check out TACEverything.com Get out the matrix.com for it Trill I mean, produced by Boom Billions. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Yep, that was yep, the yep. official version. Soul music, man. You know what I mean? The official version. How how it was meant for, to be heard. Yeah, we had some technical <laughs> difficulties, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, no doubt. But we back up in the building. Yep. So we got John Doe doing yep. shows all crazy. Real rap. Dropping mixtapes all crazy. Yep. He's out of town with it. Yep. About to have a name change coming up? Yep, Illidale is going to be the name change, so y'all might as well get used to that. Okay, that's what's up, man. So, Andy's live on the next level show. 267 is the number you can call him. And I love something out. He also got the videos popping off all crazy. Yep, make sure you on check YouTube. out YouTube, man. Just put my name in, man. Once you bring up Trill, all the other ones going to come up, too. TAC, everything, you already know. No doubt. So, um, do you ever plan on branching off into anything else besides music in the future, like uh, acting or yeah, acting? I was clothing. thinking about yeah, okay. clothing too. Um, clothing more recently than acting. Yeah, I mean, however it come, but most likely I'm definitely want to do like merch, merchandise, okay. and all that. So that's something you in, very interested. Yeah, in. Yeah, music. That's what it's going to branch off to. Yeah, I mean, other things for sure. I, I mean, this is one thing. I'm definitely trying to be multifaceted. Yeah, no doubt. And it, and it pays to be multi talented, and I mean just in life just in general, you know. Yeah. Got to be able to make that money all types of ways. Exactly, man. I mean this economy. <laughs> well, right. I was I was told that you need, I mean, a career, a job, and a hustle in order to make it in this world. You know what I mean. <laughs> I hear that, man. I mean, so we got the um, in a, in a little while we're gonna play that short days, long nights. Is that also? That's going to be on Elladell also. Oh, that's the one Trill coming up. is going to be on Elladell, and Short Days, Long Nights is going to be on Elladell. Uh, okay. My man, Neff Martin, is featured on Short Days, Long Nights, though. Boom made that beat, too. Shout out, Boom Billions. All right. Now, on the track, Soul, Soul Music, that was from All Eyes on Me? That's from All Eyes on Me. And, and Adapt. Adapt. Okay, yep. cool. Yeah, that was just a little preview. Yeah, definitely. Getting y'all ready. We getting y'all primed up for what's about to hit y'all. Yep. June 30th? Yep, June 30th, Elladell. I mean, and does the name change happen on that day? Like when that drops, is that the official? Yep. All right. That's when it's going to be. That's when the name change is going to happen. So I'll get ready for that. No doubt, man. And they can hit you up on uh, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Yep. Uh, my Facebook is uh, Jizzy John Ellis. Okay. Um, on Facebook. Uh, Twitter, you already know, John Doe of TAC. You can find me on there. You got the Reverb Nation? Reverb. 
Mm, I don't really use reverb like you don't, that. You don't man. get down with reverb. Nah, I got a. I actually got a profile though. Don't get right. me wrong. But, but you just don't bang. Nah, that was a long time ago, man. I don't really feel that. <laughs> he said it was. It's the way you say it though. He said no, that was a long time ago. <laughs> like you know something I don't know. Man, I don't be feeling reverb, man. They I'm just not, hitting I'm, my cards up crazy, man. You know them little free trials. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. the little kits. <laughs> yeah, it was man He's every month. <laughs> <laughs> Killing my pockets, man. I'm like, damn, like I just had money on here. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And trials run out, man. They start charging you up for everything. Right away. Right away. Right they don't away. even say nothing. They, they just don't go say ahead nothing. And... It's taking money out of there. So. Shoot. Yeah, you yeah. got to manually call up. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Probably talk to a robot and all that. <laughs> all right. We're going to go ahead. Keep it rolling. Short days. Long nights. Featuring Neff Martin. Produced by Booney Billions. Yeah, 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 we're back. Next level show, MC, aka Microphone Criminal. Uh huh. And we got John Doe. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Of TAC, GOT, and me. No doubt, man. We done hit him with everything we could possibly hit him with, other yeah. than the kitchen sink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, y'all gonna until have to wait next for that. time, man, just let them know once again for people that's just getting done eating their hot dogs and their hamburgers, Word. just let them know they just tuning in. Where they can find you at? You can find me on Twitter at John Doe of TAC, J O N D O E of THC. Um, Facebook.com slash Jizzy John Ellis. Um, get out the matrix.com and TAC everything.com. So make sure y'all check that out. All right, no doubt. For sure. I appreciate you for uh, coming through, man. man. Thanks for having me, man. Appreciate the love, man. No doubt. And we're going to hit them with the. Um, adapt again but we're gonna hit them with the version how it was meant to be heard right real time real time you know what i mean so give us one second while we get that thing queued up uh-huh you know I mean? ella Dell, june 30th i mean we're gonna definitely have them 11 bangers on there for us and make sure you 12 man 12 12 oh 12. yeah, yeah <laughs> <man>. <laughs> all original man all original work it's an album and a mixtape at the same damn time mm-hmm. so here we go a deck yo shout out mctv i'm john doe you can find me on twitter at john doe of tac make sure you check out our website get out the matrix.com tac everything.com salute